In the last body sculpting tutorial, I showed you how to lengthen the legs using the free transform tool. And the result is sitting on this top layer here, before and after. And with the free transform tool, we didn't have that much control over sculpting the legs. All we were really able to do was just lengthen the legs a little bit. But if you're lucky enough to have CS5, then at your disposal is a new addition called the Puppet Warp tool. And I'll show you how it works. So I'll remove this layer and I'll make a new copy onto a new layer. So I'll get my marquee tool with the M key, make a selection of my legs and hit Command J to copy those onto a new layer. And I'll call this layer Legs Lengthen yet again. So with this new layer selected, we'll come up to Edit and hit Puppet Warp. And you'll see this fine mesh sort of covers this new selection. I'll zoom in a little bit, Command Plus, a couple of times. And the way the Puppet tool works is it's, it's like a much more advanced version of the Warp tool in that you're able to set anchor points and select which points you want to move and which points you want to stay exactly where they are. Now to show you how much control I actually have with the Puppet Warp tool, I'm going to do several things all, all at one time. And these things are, I want to nudge in and, and reduce the width of the knees here a little bit. I want to lengthen the legs and I want to reduce the width of the ankles as well. So what I need to do is add a few anchor points to this mesh of the areas that I want to stay exactly where they are and the areas that I want to move. So I don't want these hips to move, so I'll add, a, I'll add an anchor point right here and I'll add another one right there. I know I want to reduce the width of the knees here, so I'm going to put an anchor point there and another one on the other side right there. Now I don't want the width of the calves to change at all. I want it to stay the exact same width. So I'm going to put an anchor point here and another one right here. Yet I know I want to push the ankles in, so I'll put another anchor point here, another one down here. And yet I don't want to reduce the width of the feet. So I'll put one there and I'll put another one there. And just in case I need it, I'll put one on either side of the thighs. One there and one there. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I want to reduce the width of the knees a little bit. So all I need to do actually is just to click and drag on any one of these anchor points and just drag it in, just the tiniest amount, and a little bit on the other side to about there. And you'll see that the only points that moved were those points and the mesh surrounding that area, but not on either side of these surrounding anchor points. I might just nudge in the width of the thighs here a little bit. So I might just, I thought I might need to do that, so I'll just bring that in a little bit to the right, perhaps to about there, and I'll bring these ankles in a tad. So I'll click and drag in, and uh, I'll do the same with the other side. Click and drag a little bit to the left and hit enter. Now do a quick before and after, before and after. All I really want to do now is just lengthen the actual legs and that'll require another pass with the Puppet Warp tool. So, so once again, I'll come up to Edit, Puppet Warp, and this time all I really want to do is lengthen the legs. I'll pan out a little bit, Command minus, and in this case, I don't really want to lengthen the thighs. I think I just want to lengthen the calves a little bit, or from the knees down. So I'll place a few more anchor points of the areas that I don't want to move. I'll place one there, one there, one down here, and one on the other side of the knee, and one just at the underneath the toes. And that's the one that I'm going to pull down, because I only want to lengthen from the knees down. So click, and pull down to about here and hit enter. Command zero to fit to window and equip before and after, before and after. So that's how you can use CS5's new Puppet Warp tool to have ultimate control while body sculpting.